Well, hey folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. You know, I've been doing these Photoshop Elements video tutorials uh, since 2005 and I have a lot of experience with Photoshop Elements and I truly love it. And like I said, I buy the new version every year. Not that you have to upgrade every year because sometimes there's just not things that need upgraded. But today, as the title gave it away, we are actually going to be merging uh, two different photographs and there's a lot of different reasons why we want to do this the reason we want to do this on this particular photograph is I was looking through these pictures and said boy this sky looks a little blown out now I know we can go in there and do some fancy editing and we can uh, you know tone it down a little bit make it bluer and everything but I thought for this day we're gonna do a video here let's do a video of merging two pictures the best of two pictures and create one so we have our first picture here, obviously, with the sky that's really too bright. But look, I was looking around, and, and then I have this picture that the sky looks really inviting, and it's entertaining. There's uh, seagulls flying around, and, you know, I just thought, this is the sky that I want to use. So we're going to merge uh, the best of these two pictures. So that's as the title gave it away, right? Merging the best of two pictures. So let's go first to the uh, first picture here. And what we're going to have to do is... We're going to have to deal with this, this sky. We're going to have to get rid of the sky. So the first thing you're going to do is do a Control or Command J. And we're going to duplicate that background. The next thing here we're going to do is we are going to make a selection. Now I like to first start off with the Magic Wand tool just to see what it selects. All right, let's click up here and see how good it does. All right, not too bad. It selected a lot of what we wanted to. You can see it's cutting off right at the water here. Uh, where we wanted it cut off it's pretty much it looks like around the green we don't have to deal with that we just have to deal with a few clouds so that's really really easy to do a lot of people say wait I selected it. it's not all selected now I messed it up no just go down here to the brush tool down in your lower panel and click on the brush tool selection 100% hardness and we're just going to go over those areas and you can see here what happens is it's adding it to the selection because if you see down here next to the brush there's an add and a subtract so subtract is if we select something we don't want selected obviously we can remove that from the selection but we are adding to the selection so we're just going to add here we're just going to add to this and we're going to add those clouds back in because we want to get rid of all that clouds and we're going to that's what we're going to merge right we're going to replace that so we'll go right around these trees right here and we're going to do the same up here. Again, all I'm doing is left-clicking my mouse and just dragging along here to, to pick up what I want in the selection. And we're going to drag down here, get that a little tighter. Go right around. I'm going around the right side of this hill back here in this picture. And making sure everything's selected. When you're merging pictures, I can say the, the, the most important part of merging pictures is your selection ability and knowing what you're selecting and making sure you're selecting what needs to be selected. Up here, we'll just go to the top. Uh, just double check in here. Go up to this top corner here. There we go. So everything is selected now in that uh, selection box that we want in there. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to hit Command or Control J. And you can see what happens is it pulls the actual uh, clouds out. Okay? So instead of doing that, let's revert it. We're going to revert. And it took it all the way back here. So if we go over here. If you go back on the layer and just hold your command or control key down, double click, you will get this back again. Okay? So this time, instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to delete this layer. And this time, if we just delete, what that does is it now changes it so it's transparent. That's what we wanted to do with that, make it transparent. So all I did was I shut the visibility off on the back, on the first background layer. And we now have a transparent. So remember, don't use Control J because that's going to create a copy of what you have selected. 
we don't want to do that make sure you hit the delete key that's why I wanted to show you that okay now let's go back to our original picture this selection is going to be a lot easier because all we're going to do is we're going to use the rectangular marquee tool and we are going to make a selection from this top corner and just pull it down right to the top of those clouds if you want some of the clouds in there that would be fine too but we're going to pull it down to the top of the clouds and at that point what we're going to do now is very simply hit command or control and C that will copy whatever you have in your selection box command or control C will copy people often say well hey wait why do I say command or control because if you're on a Mac the control key is called command if you're on Windows it's obviously the control key let's go back here to the to the original picture if you go to your layers palette if you're not sure about layers go back and look for my video of how to work with layers and we're gonna be going over that again very soon to kinda of get people updated we have a lot of new people on the channel so I'll be redoing some of those videos and retouching some of those so click on new layer and with the new layer selected hit command or control V and that will paste it commander control V will paste it alright so now you see how we have that in there and you say well wait a minute where did it, where did the island go because it is replaced now the two photos are actually the parts we want are merged together makes a lot of sense all you gotta do is reconfigure your layers remember layers are like paper if you're doing tracings so if you're doing tracings you would lay a piece of white paper over maybe a comic strip or whatever and you would trace it same deal goes here let's pull this up on top get it up there and now you can see where the island actually came back so the island is there so you're like okay well that's great but there's a little bit of white places on the end how are we going to address that well to address the white places on the ends it's very easy if we select our brush and our color palette we're gonna use the color picker and we're gonna pick right over here you can see now where the new color is blue so we picked that color that's how we can color match we got our brush selected I'll make the brush a little bigger here so we can see where it's at uh, again let's see here where the brush is at If your brush size does not want to go up, just change it down here at the bottom. You can see now where that's, eh, it might be a little bit too large, right? And I'm using my um, right and left bracket keys. Go up on top here, and we're just going to take the brush. And if it looks like it's a little too dark, it looks like it's a little too heavy there. So let's do a undo the brush tool. And we are going to just drop the opacity down to probably about maybe 80 might do it let's take a look here 80 and now you can see where we can actually mark this and we can just kind of blend that in a little bit and if you go up and down it a couple of times, you'll actually blend it in even more. And now we have a little blend there going on. Okay. Now, if you say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It, it looks a little overbearing. So we can use the dodge tool. And we can just dodge it out a little bit. Okay. So there's always something we can do when we're working with our pictures. So we'll use the dodge tool and we'll just dodge it out and blend it in a little bit. We're just doing a little blending technique here. Just like so. Alright. If we use the eraser tool, we can erase the little mark that we got there on this corner of the picture. And just blend it out. Okay, so you have a lot of ways to do things here. All right, the next thing I wanted to show you, though, is now you're like, okay, so that looks pretty good, right? We got all that pretty well taken care of. The next thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to clean up around these trees a little bit here. What we're going to use for that is called a layer mask. 
Make sure you're on that top layer. Click on Layer Mask. And what we're going to do now is we're going to grab a brush tool again. And all we're going to do here is we're painting with black. When you paint with black on a layer mask, it's going to reveal what's underneath. So again, we're just going over this a little bit here. Remember, if it's not all coming out, just go over it a couple of times. You can actually clean this up. And again, we're just pulling out what's underneath of the photo, underneath of this top layer. Okay, very easily there. And you can see now where we're blending this in just by simply going over this. And if you cut off a little bit of the trees, it's okay. I have to say editing is always remember the person was not there. And if you have to go over it a couple times to blend it in properly, then just go over it a couple times. It's kind of like painting. If we go over a paint stroke more than once, we can actually um, make it darker. So that's what you're actually doing here. You're actually going over it a couple times. And we're cleaning that up a little bit. Just like so. So there you go. That is how we merge and combine two photographs to make one and we actually made it a really beautiful sky in the picture where it was originally blown out. So I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, as always, hit that thumbs up, hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the YouTube channels here. I will be bringing you more great Photoshop Element video tutorials. So until next time, as always, keep your shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye-bye for now.